Stewie is one bad baby. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst things Stewie Griffin has ever done. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going over the most heinous misdeeds of the Family Guy character Stewie Griffin. Number 10. Kidnapping and Torturing Bart's Enemies Most have and most speaking. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a friend, last name Keebum, first name Lee. Yeah, hang on, I'll check. Uh, hey guys, do I got a Lee Keebum? When Family Guy crossed over with The Simpsons, Stewie and Bart hit it off due to their mutual precocious love of mischief. It was alright, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> However, when Stewie sees Bart being bullied by Nelson, the nefarious infant decides to abduct the older boy, subjecting him to torture, including literally making him eat his shorts. Stewie follows this up by capturing Bart's other foes, tormenting and displaying them to his new friend. While Bart calls him out on how terrible it is, they are still able to share a laugh over some delightful wordplay. I know Apu's not your enemy, but I just wanted to say I took Apu. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny! Number 9. Abandoning Mother Teresa when she overdoses uh, I haven't been this scared since Mother Teresa OD'd in my car! Usually calm under pressure, even Stewie can freak out from time to time. One such instance occurs during a brief cutaway gag that sees Stewie driving a car with a couple of druggies and Mother Teresa, who has overdosed on drugs. Push her out! We can't leave her alone! PUSH THE BITCH OUT! Stewie demands they push her out of the car in front of the hospital, apparently leaving her to die there. While St. Teresa was arguably no saint, so to speak, no one deserves to die choking on their vomit so close to a place their life could have been saved. Number 8. Freezing a Kind Security Guard Stewie is a largely decisive individual, but his infantile fears can rear their heads due to his naivete in certain areas. On his first birthday, Stewie mistakenly believes that a doctor, or a man in white, will be returning him to Lois's womb. The grenades, miss, packet full of Cheerios. Rather than return to that prison, Stewie decides to leave for another country, going to the airport. While there, a security guard gives him good advice on facing his fears, rather than running from them. You know, son, running away never solves anything. You're getting to be a big boy now, and part of growing up means facing your problems head on. As thanks, Stewie freezes the man in carbonite. I only hope my heartfelt thanks will keep you warm as you spend the next ten years in frozen carbonite! While the non-lethal nature of the act is relatively merciful for him, it's still a poor reward for someone who is nice to him. Number 7. Assaulting Jeremy when Stewie falls for his babysitter, LaDawn, he is furious with jealousy when he finds she has a boyfriend, Jeremy. Girlfriend? What kind of sick, twisted game are you playing at? Rather than pining away or declaring his feelings like a normal person, Stewie breaks into Jeremy's house, beats him up with a tire iron, and then throws him in the trunk of Brian's car. Here's your iPod so you can listen to the streaks while you gasp for air. Although Stewie's attempts at romance with LaDawn once he's out of the picture are unsuccessful, he forgets all about Jeremy, and the teen is almost certain dead after being left without food or water for several weeks. Oh, I suppose neither of us is really cut out for love and we sh Oh my god, Jeremy's still in the trunk! Number 6. Killing His Younger Brother Stewie's rivalry with his younger half-brother Bertram spans years of real-world time, and began before Bertram was even born, as Stewie tried to kill him while he was still a sperm cell. Their final confrontation proves fatal, though. After stealing Stewie's time machine, Bertram travels back to kill Stewie's ancestor, Leonardo da Vinci. Following a lengthy Venetian aerial chase, Bertram succeeds, though Stewie is still able to kill his brother by shooting him in the head. Wow, that was dramatic. While Bertram nearly destroys the cosmos through his actions, Stewie could still have found another way to stop his rival than putting an arrow through his forehead. Number 5. Murdering New Brian Although he may mistreat him, as we'll soon see, Stewie is Brian's best friend. So when the family gets a new dog, the insensitively named New Brian, Stewie is understandably upset. Despite the affable New Brian getting along and winning over everyone else, Stewie remains loyal to his friend. When Stewie attempts to drive the new dog away, New Brian replies that he has humped Stewie's stuffed bear Rupert. And we especially don't like the way you hump that chair in the den. Well, Rupert seems to like my humping. Prompting Stewie to brutally murder the dog off screen, dragging his dismembered corpse to the garbage, and leaving an unconvincing suicide note. And that is why I killed myself, chopped myself up, and put myself in the garbage. Number four, where's my money? Morning. Good day to you, sir. 
Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? To pull a complete 180 from our last entry, despite valuing Brian's friendship sometimes, Stewie is also relentlessly cruel to the family dog. One of the worst things he does personally to Brian happens after the dog makes a bet with Stewie that he loses. Have the money by tomorrow and there won't be any problems. Huh? Yeah, 24 hours. After he's unable to come up with the money, Stewie resorts to beating Brian severely. That's what happens, man! Oh my god! Yeah, that's what happens. Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Nearly drowning him in the toilet, shooting both his knees, and even lighting him on fire. While the violence is so absurdly graphic it's clearly meant for comedy, the fact that Stewie does such to a friend is pretty awful. You got till 5 o'clock! You freaking psychopath! Yeah, clean yourself up. Granted, Brian does do pretty low to get him back, though. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be fun. Number three, torturing and murdering Brian's siblings. Beating, shooting, and tormenting Brian is bad, but this is arguably worse. When Brian learns Stewie likes Miley Cyrus, he mocks him for it and refuses to help Stewie get tickets, since they're too expensive and hard to come by. My god, are you... Are you crying? Yes, Adam Montana is my hero! To secure Brian's help, Stewie locates all of Brian's siblings and traps and films them in elaborate torture and execution rooms. The fact that the toddler goes to such cruel and complicated lengths is even pointed out by Brian. Wait, you managed to hunt down eight dogs that were born years ago on a farm in Texas and you can't manage to get Hannah Montana tickets? That's what I said! And the fact that it's his first or even second instinct is rather disturbing. Number 2. Watching His Therapist Die A unique episode from the 16th season sees the entire episode devoted to Stewie seeing a child psychologist. In it, Stewie is honest about many aspects of his insecurities and persona. The point is, Stewie has a British accent. That's like a known thing, ask anyone. I'm afraid I don't hear it. As the session draws to a close, Dr. Pritchfield begins having a heart attack. But instead of helping him, Stewie does nothing because he doesn't want to risk anyone else discovering his secrets. Not to sound ghoulish, but any indication how much longer you're going to linger? Stewie has killed plenty of people, as we've already seen, but his heartless inaction here is particularly shocking. It's also clear that even he's unnerved by what he's done, or rather failed to do. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable, or rather dishonorable mentions. You must impress that effervescing, self-possessing, no BSing down syndrome girl. This is oh, Can I oh, I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. I was just kidding you. Why are you so serious? Another, another, yes, Mama has candy kisses. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Number one, trying to kill Lois. From the very beginning of Family Guy, Stewie has made no effort to hide his contempt for Lois or his many attempts to murder her. He's come close to succeeding on several occasions, and while the two-parter Stewie kills Lois and Lois kills Stewie offers a fun what-if scenario, the closest the matricidal boy has come to success was arguably when it was ironically impossible for him to succeed. During Death's Holiday, Stewie knocks Lois down the stairs, drops a cabinet on her, and then throws a grenade in the cabinet. And he would have gotten away with it had death been a possibility. Victory is mine! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.